Hey, hey, hello, folks. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, tonight I have some notes on intrinsic value and how it saved me. Uh, in this case, and I wanted to share with you to see what you think. And as always, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice. Okay, folks. So this is what happened. This is why I like intrinsic formula a lot. Okay, when I pick or choose a stock. So what happened was about a month and a half ago, Lattice or LSCC, uh, Lattice Semiconductor, LSCC, uh, in short, uh, was uh, recommended a strong buy, a strong buy by several uh, analysts, okay, well-known analysts, okay. And at the time, uh, LSCC was about be anywhere between eighty-seven to ninety dollars at the time, and I was really interested in this particular company because it is really the last, the last FPGA company, or FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array Company. Okay, the last one standing because. Sometime around 2015, 2016 or so, Intel bought Altera for about $16 billion. Okay? So in, it was, Altera was a huge uh, FBGA company as well. So Intel bought it. Okay? A few years later, AMD bought another FBGA company, big one. Xilinx. I'm sure you remember uh, this name, Xilinx. AMD paid about $50 billion for Xilinx. Okay? So, that le- leaves LSCC as the only, the only FPGA uh, company, a standalone company that I know of. There may be more or smaller ones that I don't know, but as far as I know, Okay, and don't quote me on this. Uh, I heard LSCC is not the only standalone FPGA company or producer. Okay, so I was very interested when they said strong buy. I thought about coming in and get, you know, some shares for myself. But when I did intrinsic value, the number didn't add up. The share, LSCC share price was way higher than the intrinsic value. So I didn't buy it. I decided not to buy LSCC even though I liked it a lot. So what happened after that was, okay, here it is. So roughly about a month and a half ago, right? So roughly around uh, anywhere around a month and a half ago. So now roughly somewhere right here. Okay, say that you this one right here, somewhere around right here. Oops. Right here. Somewhere around right here, right? So at this time, it was roughly about, you know, right here. Right? So roughly about closer to $90, right? And now look at this right now. LSCC is now at, look at this, $54.61. Had I bought it, I would have lost, look at that, from almost $90 to $54. And it was the intrinsic formula that saved me, folks. Intrinsic formula that saved me. And that's the reason why I really like to use intrinsic formula. Okay, so, so that's the reason why I wanted to share my note with you to see what you think, if what your experience with intrinsic formula. Okay, so let's go go with it. Let's figure it out. Okay, so now that LSCC is at fifty four sixty one, so is it a good time to buy or not? Hey, you know what? I I make decisions on based on intrinsic value, the formula. I don't do it on uh, emotion because. I would likely to be wrong, 
right? I would have been wrong had I went with my emotion a month and a half ago. Okay, so let's look at a uh, lot of semiconductors uh, data. Okay, so right now lattice is at fifty four dollars. Okay, it dropped big. Okay, uh, earning wasn't good. Analyst, I mean, uh, investor didn't like it. It dropped like a rock the last few days. Now at fifty four sixty one, from ninety dollars something to fifty four sixty one. Okay, the uh, earning per share is a profitable company. Earning per share is a dollar fifty two, and five year growth rate is almost twenty percent right here. Okay, things looking good, you know, and look at this. Even now, okay, LSEC is still at a strong buy. Analysts still think he still gave LSEC a strong buy rating, okay, and the twelve month target now it's down to seventy three. It was higher than ninety dollars. I don't remember what it was, uh, but uh, more than ninety dollars. Okay, so at this current jun at this juncture right now, the high is eighty dollars. Okay, and the average is seventy three. So is it now that uh, lattice is at uh, fifty four sixty one? Is it a good buy or not? Well, yeah, I asked myself the same question, right? Hey, the only way to know is to use the uh, formula. Okay, use the uh, uh, intrinsic formula. That that how how I deal with it. I don't know what your experience is uh, with intrinsic formula, but that how I. That's the reason why I like intrinsic formula a lot. So let's work it out to see uh, what is uh, what the intrinsic value is, and whether or not um, lattice lattice semiconductor at fifty four sixty one is a good buy or not. Okay, so let's work it out. So let's plug in the numbers. Value. Let's do red so that later it's easier to see. Okay. So value equal EPS is one five two a dollar fifty two multiplied by eight point five plus two time nineteen fifty okay nineteen fifty the growth rate. Okay, so, and this is the first time I'm doing this today as well. So I don't know what the answer is going to be. I don't know if uh, the intrinsic value is going to be lower or higher than uh, lattice. Uh, lattice is uh, current share price. So let's figure it out together. It, it's fun uh, that way. Okay. So earlier I have already looked at the triple A bond, right? It was five seven three. So we use it again five seven three. Okay, so now let's go on with it. Value equal five one point fifty two multiplied by eight point five plus okay two times nineteen fifty is that thirty nine? Double check. I don't trust my. I don't trust me either. <laughs> okay, two times nineteen fifty equal thirty nine. Okay. Thirty-nine, okay, and all of that multiplied by four point four, okay. So these guys right here became uh, forty-seven point five, right? Forty-seven point five. All right, I don't trust myself. <laughs> Plus eight point five, okay. Forty-seven point five, okay. Multiplied by one fifty-two, multiplied by four point four. And all of these divide by five point seven three. Okay. Let's see how much is that. So forty seven five multiply by one point five two multiply by four point four equal three seventeen sixty eight. Three. Seventeen sixty-eight. Okay, and this divide by five point seventy-three. 
5544 equal 5544. So value equal 5544. So the intrinsic value at Right now, it's 5544, okay? And when, a, a month and a half ago, I did the intrinsic value also, and it was like around, you know, roughly the same. And lattice at the, at the time was like almost $90, and that's the reason why I didn't purchase, and I'm glad I didn't, even though I liked it so much. Had I uh, made my decision based on emotion, I would have bought LSCC. But I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. And, uh, you know, I take it back. In fact, I did. I bought it, and then I got out. You know, I said, hey, emotion is not good. I got out. So pretty much broke even. Pretty much broke even. And I'm glad uh, I, uh, I I got back out. Because the intrinsic value is 55.44, right? And now, lattice is 54.61. So it's kind of... You know, at the same level right now. So right now, it's got a, you know, at the same level at the intrinsic value. But this is, you know, intrinsic value. Let that talk about even if I take out 10 percent margin of safety of like Warren Buffett do 10 percent. Okay. So we take out uh, 10 percent is 554, right? Minus 5.44 equal. That'd be $50 at 10 percent. Would be fifty four dollars, okay. Even that ten percent margin of safety, okay, and which is about the same the same as share uh, lattice lattice is the share price right now. But I typically take about twenty five to thirty percent, right? And you know, so how much would that be? Fifty five forty four times point seven five percent, forty one fifty eight. So intrinsic value is 55.44. At 10% margin of safety, it's $54. At 25% margin of safety, it's $41.58. So if to really, you know, could be uh, the, to me, to me that is, the right time to buy uh, lattice semiconductor is when it hits Forty-one fifty-eight, forty-one fifty-eight, and not now, not at this level of fifty-four sixty-one. Fifty-four sixty-one is right at about ten percent margin of safety. Okay, uh, I guess if you know I have the formal bug that bite me, then I'll, I'll buy a fifty-four. But you know why not wait for it to drop a little bit more right to play it safe. Because Lattice Semiconductor is a good company. I really li like the company, and I still do. But I want to buy at a safe, I want to enter at a safe entry point. And to me, a safe entry point is about 41.58. Okay, 41.58. And this is a prime example why I use intrinsic value. It saved me big time. Had I gone in at this level right here, which is like about $89. $89, which I did, by the way, like I said, but I got out at $89 also. Had I got, had I stayed with it, $89, I would have lost uh, $35. Bucks. I would have lost $35 on, on this uh, investment. That would, would have been bad. And, and that's the reason why I do this video to to share with you why I really like intrinsic value formula. And it saved me a number of times. Okay. And this is a prime example of why uh, I use the, uh, the formula. Okay. But folks, you know, keep an eye on Lattice. Uh, it's a good company. It's the last uh, company that does uh, F FPGA. And who knows, you know, some, you know, Maybe now the AMD bought one, uh, AMD bought Xilinx, Intel bought Altera. Who knows? What if uh, NVIDIA decide to get into this and purchase this one, right? And uh, 
So right now, this company is about 7.5 billion uh, valuation. What if it get bought out by 10 billion, 12 billion? Who knows, right? All spec speculation. But I really like this company. So I'm watching. I'm watching for uh, share price to drop to somewhere near this level right here, 4158, so that I can get some and add to my portfolio. Hey folks, so what do you think? What do you think of uh, intrinsic value formula? Uh, the, do you have any experience with it? Have you have any good, bad experience with it? Let's share so that we all can learn from each other. I mean, we all, yeah, we all have the same, you know, uh, passion, which is stock, the stock market, right? I enjoy it every, I mean, a lot. I really enjoy the stock market. And, uh, Hey, let's share your uh, experience with intrinsic formula. And uh, if you know anything about uh, LSEC, hey, let, uh, uh, let's share it. Let's, so that we can all learn from each other. Okay, folks, hey, that is all I have to share with you. Uh, please feel free to uh, share your idea and opinions. And hey, folks, have a pleasant evening. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care, folks. Good night.